Eric, what was your most memorable night in the Phoenix, though, man? Mm. The most memorable guys has to be um, Jack the Rapper. I knew you were going to say that. Either, oh, well, yeah, Jack the Rapper. It actually was Teddy Riley's birthday. Mm -hmm. And Rex and FX had the number one single in the world, mm. Rump Shaker. Mm -hmm. So he brought them, right? Really, the story is actually JoJo, you know, from JoJo and the Dave. JoJo and Dave, right? Jo JoJo Peavy. and Mike Dobson, uh -huh. brought Teddy Riley there for that, Joseph right, for his birthday. <laughs> I'm talking about this place is packed. The, the mirrors are sweating. The by fire marshal law, we were supposed to have 2,700 people in there. We had about 3,300. <laughs> Seriously, very packed. Very Damn. packed. I'm talking about now. This is '92, I think, and you talking about. We charging to go in the side door $150 Ooh. in 92. The, the change by the hour, how much you had to pay. By the time the show was about to start, it was $50 to get in there in Ooh. 92. Right. 3,300 people in the club, right? Shit. They perform. Next thing, it turned into a freestyle. Every rapper you can think of was in town. They grabbed the mic. I mean, this freestyle went on for 15 minutes. So Buster grabbed the mic. You know, uh, Heavy D grabbed the mic. Because, um, you know, at that point, we didn't have any really Atlanta rappers that were right. on the national scene. Those national right, yeah, right. right. So it was like every East Coast rapper you could think of, Eric Sermon, you know, mm -hmm. everybody. And they just went back to back, Pac, back to back. And I'm just standing up on the second floor looking down from the bar like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know, this is like a hip-hop fairy tale and shit at this point. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it's just back to back. And it's like people, you know, we couldn't even pay them to be there because their prices were too high. Like there were artists we were trying to get in there all the time. And it was like, well, we need 30000 yeah. and there's five members and we got a rider and we need plane tickets and first class this and that. And to be honest with you, most of the time, we never really would spend no more than ten k for anybody. Yeah, Like mm -hmm. we wouldn't go beyond that because you, hotels, transportation, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff, you know. And then you might have to go through a booking agent and they want something too. But unlike today, where you can just reach out to somebody on the DM and the manager hits you back. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, I mean, we brought everybody we could get our hands on. But at that time, once again, back then in the music industry, we had distribution offices. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, Sony had an office. BMG had an office. Everybody had an office. And like I was, we was talking about earlier, there was no place for them to go. Mm -hmm. So if you brought any rapper into town, he had nowhere to go. Or a club that really was appropriate to them. Because the reps were getting chewed up because they would end up at some R&B club and everybody <laughs> in slacks and shoes, right? Yeah. right? Like, this ain't our shit. Right. <laughs> Phoenix opens up. Bam. I got so-and-so. I got so-and-so. We'd almost take almost anybody. We didn't always take everybody. We, we would actually check and see if they had a decent record, depending on the night. Mm -hmm. But college night, if you were in town, we'd take <clears> anybody. Because college night was a really big night for us as well. Yeah. We had a, what we call it, pass the mic. That's mm -hmm. really was like the first place you could really get into a freestyle contest in the city on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Every every college night, Greg Britt used to run it, you know, and it was just like it was just like the Apollo. Mm -hmm. Everybody be standing, you know, everybody in the crowd. You get up there, tell tell Cersei or John what beat you wanted to play. You play, you know, you wrap your bars on it, mm -hmm. and everybody either clap for you. Or halfway through, they start go past the mic. I'm yeah. talking about everybody's there. You rapping, you try, you know, and you got you looking out on the ocean of people, and yeah. they just go like this. Damn, go, you know. And, I think and, they had when Wicked went out there trying to perform. I was beat you. I was the one got two up in one on one. So, we cleared that up there. Yeah, you know. So, I can't wait. So you know, uh, Greg or, or John, or they would have to go get the mic from the man. You know, yeah. like Sam made just. All right, you gone. Mm -hmm. You know, and she, then after a couple came people, up with, with one. You know. They came with one. <laughs> straight from the deck? When you heard straight from the deck, Dre, oh, what was man. going through your mind at that time? Oh, <laughs> man. That's my song. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's straight from the deck. <laughs> so before he answer, why don't you go in and tell him that, you know, he ain't no Atlanta nigga, first of all. <sighs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, we gonna get yeah. in now. Go Let's not get in now. No, 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 no. He don't have the right. No, 
Oh, Dre. He don't have the right to say anything about Atlanta. What do I tell him what you told oh, me? Lord. No, Dre. Don't even listen to this crazy fool. Okay. The bottom line is he been representing Decatur. On me, I'm a West Side guy. Okay? okay. So I don't know a whole bunch about the East Side. I just know what he tell me. Okay. And for what that song gave me. You know, but he just okay. trying to put me on the cross right quick. You got me. Yeah. You got me. <laughs> You know what? Just like I, you, you know, they had this big controversy with this girl talking about she from the what SWAT? So oh yeah, no, nah, she from the A from Zone Three. Uh, I'm okay. really young. Yeah. Okay, but Atlanta is made up from the South Side, East Side, West Side, North Side. Anybody that's from any of them areas, first thing they're going to say, I'm from the A. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Well, now, I agree with that. I you know you have problem with Don't backtrack behind me. Now, back in the day, mm-hmm. all right, where were you born at, Wicked? I was, actually, I was born by a mid-mother. So I wasn't born in a hospital. Okay. I was born back then. Okay. Yeah. All right, where were you born at? Crawford Long. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so I was born at Hugh Spaulding. Do y'all know about Hugh Spaulding? I know about yeah. Hugh Spaulding. That's, yeah. a, that's a children's yeah. hospital of Grady. Mm-hmm. But when a person, and, 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 I, and I would say this, majority of the people back in the days were born at Grady. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what's wrong with saying I'm from the A? That's where you was born at. Right, even if they Ooh. took you, if you went home Even to, if you went home yeah. to Decatur. To Decatur. Yeah, that's or a good even one. if you went home to College Park. You know what, Dre, I'm just be real from? with him. The only reason we don't do it is because we don't like him, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he messed it up for all okay. Decatur niggas. All right. That's why we don't want to hear it, okay? Well, you know, well, my story is so gay, so I wasn't even born in the house. So I was born, I hit the flow. That explains it. On your head. You got to know your head when you were born. Damn. Hey, well, he a head, baby. But, but, hey, but it's all right, though. But that's all right. But we as, we, we, we as people got to come together. That's right. See, that's what, that's what the younger crowd get it twisted. Oh, I'm from here. I'm from there. Back in the days, yeah, now, back in the days, we didn't have strip clubs. A lot of strip clubs in Indicator. In yeah. Everybody came to the strip clubs in Atlanta. Yeah. But we didn't have people standing on this side, oh, I'm from the west side. Yeah. Or we didn't have people mm-hmm. standing over here, I'm from the east side. Yeah. Or I'm from the south side. Yeah. Everybody from the A. That's mm-hmm. right. And everybody came together. Mm-hmm. We didn't have, man, you. You have a good fight in the club, yeah. yeah. You have yeah. a good one, but you ain't have no sh- all this shooting mm-hmm. and all this oh, all this bullshit. They, they did all that, Dre. Yeah. That, but, but, but 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 yeah, that's why you, in that song it says five hundred S E L D C A T L. Because we felt like we just really out. When, when I did that song, I felt like, we, like I said, we all from the A, but I was just saying when I say D.C., that was just a particular part of the A that I was from. So I wanted to Okay, I felt like exactly you were separating well. yourself from the A and just Absolutely. saying, you know what, I don't like these a lot of niggas. <laughs> we, I'm from Decatur. We can look out our door and, 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 and step one, one over. We, okay, I'm just yeah, making sure. We're double district. Uh, I, I ain't from Conyers. <laughs> <laughs> I know that right. I'm McAfee. You know what I know that right. But you know what, though? I'm a diehard. Atlanta fan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I look at people that's from Atlanta and say, oh, I like uh, uh, such and such. Man, you don't know nothing about them folks out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Support, I don't know. You know what? I couldn't even tell you who on the fucking Braves team. Yeah. I couldn't even tell you who on the, who besides Trey Young, who on the Hawks team. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Falcons, they done switched their whole fucking roster up. Come on. But I'm still a diehard Atlanta fan. Me too. If I'm going to be a fan of anybody, it's got to be Atlanta. It's right. got to be. It's got to be. It can't be nobody else. Come on. Come on. That's who we represent. That's I who represent us. <laughs> well, you not from you. Well, you ain't from you. I can't say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> I know the, the, the Lions. No, I'm from Pittsburgh, though. Oh, still so I know you got all, all but them all, all day. Yeah, but that's yeah. cool. Yeah. But that's yeah. cool. Yeah. I will say this: we ain't have a basketball team. 
yeah. in Pittsburgh. So I was a Hawks fan and a Sixers fan. Ooh.